even though everyone knows it. I know everyone knows it. They tell me like I don't know it. Cause you know, Shein's canceled and helped me written on it. Um, where if I bent over, it might be game over. I dropped 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep for shit yeah. If I catch you not in love, then it's gon' be some shit Well, you can do what you wanna Live how you wanna Spend what you wanna We doing a school haul today I tried the intro thing, it didn't work out Um, I did like three intros None of them, like, even the regular one that I do None of them were working So we're just gonna, we're doing a haul today Um, it's not a big haul Like, people, I've been doing this huge Back to school hauls, but, um Got three outfits. Um, I actually already opened them, but I thought it would do some justice if I kept them in the package. Although, now thinking back at it, probably was it because, you know, Shein's canceled. I really don't care, like, at all. Well, okay, I care a little bit. I'm trying to look through to sort them into outfits. Because I know the outfits. This bag is really closed. Um, I've already tried everything on. I haven't tried it on for cameras viewing. So you won't get to see me try anything on. But I think I'm going to start with my... This outfit is already in my lap. So the first outfit I bought was a blue... The first outfit set. I tried to match with like stuff or whatever. I bought a blue like tank crop whatever. I don't know what it's really called. Um, but, um, I'm trying to show it off. This is, like, close. This is pretty much one of my favorite shades of blue. Um, so, yeah, it's this tank. Everything I got, this is a plus size haul, by the way. Everything I got was in a shirt-wise 3XL, pants size 1XL. And everything besides one pair of pants fit. Um, but, I mean, it fits, it just, like... I don't know about bending over. Also, if I'm rushing through this, I apologize. I actually, like, wanted to do this video when I first found out my clothes got here. But now I'm really tired. And I could have did this tomorrow, but I don't know why I felt. And I might refilm it tomorrow, so. Okay, so. This cute blue. I'm probably going to wear this at school with a jacket over it. Just I wanted, to, I wanted to buy a tank top this year or something like it to give off, like, the off the shoulder jacket vibe because I've been doing that all summer with just a bra and I felt weird going to school in just a bra so I bought a tank top to do just that and it's soft it's very soft I like the material and it's very stretchy and it doesn't only like one thing here feels like super cheap this is thin but it doesn't feel cheap I don't know if that makes sense like Shein has definitely upped their quality on a lot of their clothes I've never got a bad Shein package. Let me check the label. You know what I'm saying? Help me written on it. Um, um, I've never got, like, this is the only thing. And it's not even bad quality. I just feel like the sewing could have been maybe different. Did I do that or was it made like It was made like that? Okay, so I don't know if I like these. I didn't see that when I bought them. So these are, like, scrunch booty shorts, but the scrunch is only, like, this long it doesn't go like all the way down to like i don't know maybe it's cute i didn't see the butt part when i put this on i didn't even know it did that these are soft and when i usually when i pick out leggings i don't do soft i do sweaty like not sweaty but like it you feel like you can sweat in it and be fine this is like yoga and it doesn't really stretch like it definitely has a stretch what the freak is it? and the band is weird i think i read a comment about the band being weird the band is weird. I mean, it, it, it has stretch. It's just not my type of fabric for tights. These are definitely giving me flashbacks to back in the day when I used to wear only pants like this. And yeah, these are the ones that I felt a little iffy about with size. Where if I bent over, it might be game over. But yeah, I'm going to just throw everything in the bag. I'm too tired. Uh, all of this is getting washed whenever I order from Shein, especially when it's back to school clothes. I wash everything. Um. Okay, well, I broke the zipper, so. And the next outfit, actually, I want to show you the shoes I have for it, but I'm not. They're on the floor, but they're all the way over there. So I have, I picked this outfit out first. It was the first thing I picked out because 
um, I have shoes to go with it. So, I'm going to start with the pants. Um, the pants, this is similar to the material I like for my tights. Like, I don't know, kind of shiny, you know? Um, more, I'm about to go run a track. Like, these feel like stuff. It has the pro, they're not Nike Pro uh, tights. Um, I was going to say shorts. They're not Nike Pro, of course. They came from Shein. Uh, she, Shein. And I like it. The only thing that I would say, I feel like I'm complaining so much when I tried these on earlier. I didn't have a single complaint. It's probably one because I'm tired, but I like I like everything. Even the pants I just like crapped on earlier. I like those. I'm probably just not gonna wear them as much because that that shirt I can wear with literally anything. Um, the only problem I have is the booty. The booty has weird stitch lines, so when you put it on, it makes your butt look weird. And I don't know if you've ever seen, but I got a weird butt already. I don't need any exaggeration of that. Um, to make this move faster, I'm just going to bag things after that. And the shirt. The shirt is pink. Oh my gosh. I'm struggling. This will be faster than I thought. I should probably talk more. Um, but I'm not. It could be a quick video. Oh, but I am going to say this. Uh, this actually isn't the video I'm supposed to film. I'm, uh, there's a asthma awareness video I wanted to do, but I've been stalling because that's a serious-ish video, and you know, I don't do good with serious. I tried to do it with that drama video, which, not drama, acting video. The asthma awareness video is in the comment because it's basically just a list of a bunch of short story times, so, of asthma, in, like, funny-ish ways, because I'm not doing that, <gasps> I almost died, but... You know, you'll see. I already wrote the stories down. Um, this is the shirt. Um, like I said, everything here is a 3XL. Um, um, shockingly, the shirt isn't as big as I thought it would be. Um, it says it's his feelings. What the freak is that? And it matches. I don't know. Can I show you? I don't want to show, like, too much. Those pink, not the Crocs, but the Jordan. Those pink Jordans. The color is a little bit lighter. Let me make sure it zooms all the way in. Because I be zooming in and then it zooms, like... Okay, I think I just took a screenshot. Um, the color is a little darker, but it's close enough. So, I'm probably going to wear this the first day of school. Because it's the only thing I have shoes for right now. Um... And for that last outfit I showed you, I want to go get a pair of Blue Jordans. Or maybe Blue Dunks. Um, the next outfit, last but not least, this is definitely the first outfit. What? Okay, the outfit I just showed you is the most in my comfort zone. A t-shirt, some tights. But in the first outfit I showed, the shirt was a little outside my comfort zone because I don't like to show off my arms too much. Because, um, you know, I have stretch marks. I feel like the camera's looking down. I have stretch marks. But I really don't care anymore because, you know, people have them. It's, who moved my skates? Whatever. Um. So, yeah. But this third one, it's, I'm, it's very out of my comfort zone because, one, the top is a crop top. And starting last year, I was just getting comfortable with the crop topping. And the bottom's a skirt, and I just got comfortable with the skirts. And not only is it a skirt, it's a really sexy, tight um, skirt. I want to show the shirt first. This is the shirt. Um, yeah, this is the shirt. I really like, actually, I can see myself. Why is all this black thread coming off? Um, everything here, like I said, was very good quality. This is very good quality. But, you know, I'm not going to say too much because, I, you know, I've never had Gucci or anything. So somebody could get this and go, it's cheap. It's literally sheer. It's not. Kind of. Kind of. But, like, um, it's cute. I actually really love this shirt. I love the way it fits on me. I love the way that it's not a drop shoulder because I feel like drop shoulders, um, as they, they were in, they're in style, I guess. I just, and I have a bunch of drop shoulder shirts. I just feel like the drop shoulder crop tops don't look that good on me. They make... They accentuate how big my boobs are. Like, I have big rhythms. I'm not trying to draw attention to that, even though everyone knows it. I know everyone knows it. They tell me, like, I don't know it. But whatever, this shirt is really cute. And I can see myself wearing these with a black pair of jeans I own. I don't know if I ever showed them on the channel. But I can actually see these wearing with every pair of pants I own because I love that shirt. 
um, funny because I, when I ordered this, it was a last minute thing. I was like, I don't even think I'm going to like this shirt for real. It's not cute or um, whatever. But I actually liked it the most. And last but not least, I'm talking fast. I'm just trying to go to sleep. <laughs> I've, I've been so excited. After this weekend tomorrow, I'm excited for it. Um, this is the skirt. It's actually really small, but I like it that way. Only problem is it's, again with the word, accentuates. It accentuates my stomach, which, I mean, I got to get over it someday. And my workout has been effed over. Sorry. But it's been effed over all summer. Um, so, when I first planned my workout summer, I was supposed to be doing not a single thing this summer. And then, summer comes... And this is actually the busiest summer I've had in years. So much happened this summer. I couldn't even take a second to work out. Because usually I don't work out the day of something happening and the day after. Because I'm just tired. So that takes out two days right there. And I only work out four days a week. I work out Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't work out on Wednesdays because it's weird. I'm not saying you're weird. But I'm just saying I'm, I like even numbers. And if I work that, it's five days a week. And. Or it could still be four, it's just one. It's Wednesdays in the middle of the week, it's just perfect for that. And the weekends, I just, whatever. So, yeah, I didn't lose as much weight as I planned to this summer. But, I feel confident. I don't know. Also, I have this weird mirror upstairs, and you can say I'm de like delusional, but I swear that mirror adds weight. And I, I swear, I know I'm not skinny. I'm not walking around saying I'm skinny. I know I'm not skinny. I'm, sh I'm literally plus size tall. But, the energy's coming. I'm tired now. The energy's coming. I apologize. But when I go into any other reflective surface, like other mirrors too, um, I don't look as big. But when I go to that one single mirror in my entire house, it just... And then that mirror will base my entire day. And so I will buy clothes like baggy stuff just because of that one mirror. But whatever. You came for the clothes. Not my sad, sappy, uh, busy, fun summer that was in. Eh. Or whatever, it's cute, it's really, it's different from anything I'll ever buy, because it's tight, it's skin tight, like, skin tight, um, there's slits on both sides, I didn't know that when I ordered it, I thought there was only one slit on one side, so when I found that out, my reaction was actually funny, <laughs> um, um, instead of having a normal reaction, like, oh cool, there's slits on both legs, I proceeded to open my legs, no, nope. yeah, I proceeded to open my legs as wide as I could, not, like, in an inappropriate way, just, like, standing. I went, like, from this, I was like, bam! And my mom was like, please don't do that. But, yeah, so, basically, I love this skirt. I'm um, probably going to put a jacket over it, because um, even though I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone, I'm, I'm proud of myself, because I'll get out of my comfort zone uh, easy into it. So, I wear clothes that make me uncomfortable, but I'll throw a jacket over it. And I take that, I'll take that as a, a, like a step forward because that's better than what I would do. What I would do is wear something that makes me uncomfortable, take it off, put it back in the closet, and then put on like a, a long sleeve shirt or something. But now, I'll put on the crop top, I'll put on the, the shorts, I'll put on the skirt, and I'll just throw a jacket on top so people can still see the outfit. And progressively out the day, I get comfortable and I end up unzipping the jacket anyway, so I take that as a step in the right direction of loving myself because I got bullied like heavily when I grew up and I mean I'm pretty much numb to it but there's some like hearing something from a certain person or like hurt like my best friend he made it like a quick joke about my weight which usually it doesn't really bother me that much anymore like yeah I'll think about it for like a while because I just I, I'm like that I think about stuff and I'll think about it for like a while but like when they said it I was tripping, I was, I don't know how to say tripping, but it was just like a quick joke, and it wasn't even that serious, it was just like, I don't know, Ooh. so yep, yeah, that's my Shein haul, uh, you can hate on me if you want, because I shot that Shein, um, it's probably gonna shut down anyway, which I'm actually gonna cry, because I don't under, I don't just, I just wanna put this out here, and I don't, anytime I say this, people get so defensive for whatever reason, but Shein makes me feel good about myself. I don't know if that makes sense. And it's like, I'm broke. Like, broke. Like, if you want to check my bank account, I have zero dollars and sixty some cents. Um, that's from TikTok, by the way. I just found out that TikTok Lives only charge you, like, five cents, seven cents. 
to go be a member and stuff like that and give people, so I've been spending my money on there. Yeah. Um, but whatever. Um, I'm broke, and as a plus-size girl, or a male, I don't know, I just, do they have plus-size male on Shein? I don't know. Just, I know from experience that my style has really grown because of Shein, because I used to have to shop at places like Rainbow, which, if you know the plus-size section of Rainbow, is not bad. It's just not too good. Like, it's like those black shirts, like Black Girl Magic and stuff. I don't know why I'm doing quotations on the camera, like I'm faking it. Um, Target. Target actually, I think, are doing better, but they still have a heavy amount of plus size stuff that's like elderly looking. Goodwill. I will, you'll never catch me in a Goodwill. I went to Goodwill one time. Super excited because I see people walking out with the cutest stuff. I walk and I'm like, what is this? What is this I'm looking at? People on YouTube that go and they get these cute outfits. I go and I see suspenders. And I, I'm a person with texture when it, like, comes to my hands and feet. And so I accidentally touched something in the Goodwill because I, I thought they cleaned stuff. It was sticky the entire time. I couldn't. I was done. I was done. But whatever. So basically what I'm saying is Shein has a good amount of good quality, good looking stuff for plus size people. Women, I don't know if they have the men. Um, so yeah, like... I used to dress so bad because I thought I had to, and I thought I would have to for the rest of my life. Um, and another thing is my, like, height. It's hard to find things for my height. But Shein is good with that. So, I'm done with my mini rants. You may see me tomorrow night talking about the asthma stories. Maybe not, because I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. But I actually was supposed to get that video out, like, last week because I started wheezing, and usually, so, fun fact, I'm ranting because now, as much as I wanted to rush through that video, I'm, like, talking to the camera now. But whatever. Just a quick run through. Usually when problems happen to me, I go to TikTok and see if people are relating to it because seeing someone go through what I'm going through somehow comforts me. Like, when I'm on my period, I, that entire week, I'm watching period TikToks. When my asthma's bad, I'm watching asthma TikToks. Like, I started wheezing the other day, and I was like... Weezing TikToks, and it led me to making this one chat, this no, chat, whoa, this one podcast, the girl was like, no one brings awareness to asthma enough, and I'm not going to say this, because I actually planned this intro out, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to say too much, because I'm going to be proud of it when it happens, although I might freak it up, I'm going to leave before I make this awkward, dumb, and ruin this video completely, um, be you, only you. Life's a joke. Don't take it too seriously. I know you glad to hear me stop talking. Bye. So but does you bring it back back back? I'm a big dog trying to eat the kitty cat pat. I'm a slide in the wind.